We are KNR Rover Team, a part of Students Robotics Association, KNR, which operates at the Faculty of Power and Aeronautical Engineering at Warsaw University of Technology. Due to the COVID-19 impact, we had to move all our workspaces to our homes. But that did not stop us from modifying our rover and tweaking its software. While designing our rover, we focused on its modularity. Special mounts enable us to quickly swap the modules to ensure full task compliance. In the rover, we mostly utilize elements designed and constructed by team members. From circuit boards to mechanical components such as Hull's aluminum sheets or suspension shafts. We decided to revamp the previously used rocker buggy suspension. Additionally, we installed new, more powerful and reliable drive modules coupled with our own proven wheel design. The wheels consist of polyurethane foam molded on 3D printed rims with aluminum spokes. Field tests have shown their unmatched durability as well as very good traction in all conditions. Owing to those new solutions, our robot is able to traverse demanding terrain and overcome steep obstacles. We also managed to keep the rover compliant with the size and weight requirements. We designed a power and communication rail with slots for mobile platforms control units to remove excess cables from the interior and, in case of emergency, allow for easy repairs. We achieve around 3 hours of operating time and up to 10 kilometers of range on one charge. We improved the functionality of certain modules by modifying their software. Thanks to the implementation of automatic regulators, we achieved highly precise steering of the rover. In order to provide safety of operation, mobile platform is fitted with an emergency stop button. The rover will also automatically stop after losing connection. 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi provides communication between the robot and the operator. Our new vision system consists of digital cameras as well as analog ones. Thanks to this upgrade, we achieved high redundancy of the system. Analog cameras provide low latency stream, while the digital ones give us high resolution video stream sent over Wi-Fi. For our operator's convenience, we designed a specialized control panel to allow for precise steering of each of the rover's modules. In most tasks, we utilize a 6 degree of freedom manipulator. Thanks to the implementation of inverse kinematics, the operator can intuitively perform desired movements. The gripper allows the rover to grab and manipulate various objects weighing up to 6 kilograms. Finite element analyses enable us to account for large forces acting on the assembly when designing its components. Ability to remember certain positions is another feature added to the manipulator's software that allows us to quickly automate and perform some repetitive tasks. A secondary gripper of our own design provides the manipulator with the ability to extract a soil sample and store it in the laboratory module. We designed a microflow system for our lab module which allows us to conduct the biological experiments using a minimal amount of sample material. Thanks to the capillary force, the solutions will be able to move without applying any pressure, and the reagents will be mixed while flowing through the system of tubes. The colored reaction products of Ninhydrin test, Selewanov's test, and discoloration of Roman water, which provide information on presence of biochemical compounds, will be analyzed visually and with a spectrophotometer. The autonomy module consists of many devices, such as an IMU, a stereoscopic camera, or a main processing unit. In order to test the new software responsible for the autonomous movement of our rover, we used robot operating system and gazebo. Thanks to the simulated test environment, we could evaluate our solutions without the need for physical access to the robot. Additionally, we designed our own system for detecting the AR tags. 
We are proud of our rover and hope to rise to the challenge put up by other teams during URC 2021. We hope to see you there soon.